Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the reform bill and saying that uh, it's become neutered and toothless. But we actually think there are a few little snaggles of teeth left in there. Uh, because if uh, some of the more robust elements of the bill are actually passed, then it means that the banks will get a little bit worried they're going to lose some money. And that's, of course, what they're most interested in. And uh, one of the things that they are most worried about is a little something called the Volcker Rule, which is named after Paul Volcker, who's the uh, former chairman of the Federal Reserve. And the Volcker Rule would essentially say that uh, commercial banks would be forbidden from doing what's called proprietary trading. So rather than explain all of that in a mumble of jargon, let's uh, look for a little uh, analogy that we can use. So um, I want you to imagine a house, here it is, in suburbia. Nice little house, here it is, out there. Beautiful roof, there we go. And uh, you know, it's your perfect kind of suburban house. Nice square windows, there we go, picket fence, you know, the whole nine yards. Beautiful little home. And uh, this house is owned by uh, Mr. Jones, here he is, Mr. Jones, and uh, Mr. Jones uh, wears a bowler hat to work and uh, makes lots and lots of money uh, doing his job as a, a chemical engineer. Makes that money, puts it in the bank account, all's hunky-dory with the house. So on the surface of it, this, ha this house looks very conservative, very normal, very suburban, very quotidian. But there's actually something going on in this house, a little bit nefarious, because uh, Mr. Jones's eldest son, Jimmy, all right, is a bit of an entrepreneur. And he has decided, here he is, to run a casino out the back. Okay, so here's Jimmy's casino. Now, Mr. Jones is quite happy about this at first because Jimmy's a fairly smart lad and he's learned how to make a vast amount of money in his casino. So there's lots and lots of money coming into the house, both in, through the front door and now through the side door. But what happens when things go bad in the casino? Suddenly, Jimmy starts to lose money. He goes to a loan shark. These are bad people. And uh, he's suddenly like a million dollars in the hole. And uh, these loan shark guys are coming after him. He's desperate. He's got to pay off. Uh, he's got to pay off his debts, otherwise they're going to take him and break his knees. So he goes to Daddy. Daddy, 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 please, uh, please help me out. I've, uh, I'm, I'm in a really desperate strait. I owe these guys some serious money. So Mr. Jones, of course, because he's a good dad, goes out and he raids his own bank account, sells his car, sells the boat, sells the private plane, gets as much money as he can, funnels it Jimmy's way. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Suddenly, Mr. Jones realizes that unless he's careful, he's going to lose the house. So he goes to the neighbors, 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 please help me out, lend me some money. The neighbors are like, no way, because we know that we're not going to get our money back. What happens? Mr. Jones, of course, has a nightmare, goes bankrupt, the house gets foreclosed on, and uh, everything just basically goes to pot. Okay, the house suddenly becomes, falls into disrepair, the roof falls in, all right, it's got cracks all over the place. Suddenly you've got all sorts of growths growing up around the place, there's, there's graffiti on the wall. And basically the house turns into a mess. And this isn't just bad for the house, it's bad for the neighborhood. Because one blighted house in a neighborhood, as we know, can drag the whole neighborhood down. Suddenly people start to leave, other houses start to, go, to fall into blight, nobody wants to buy homes, and suddenly you've got an entire neighborhood that's a complete wreck that used to be a really, really nice place. And this is what people, uh, regulators, and the Congress are worried that will happen to the banking system. They're worried that commercial banks which are just kind of regular normal banks, will be perverted, will be twisted and, and, and dragged into the dirt by these hedge funds, these proprietary trading operations that they have going on inside their own doors. Because from the outside, a, a commercial bank just looks like a, you know, a regular bank. It takes your money, takes your savings, and it makes loans. But a lot of these commercial banks have these proprietary trading operations, which some people call casino banking, that are investing in things like hedge funds and private equity and, and all sorts of exotic securities. And uh, people are worried that these casino operations, these proprietary trading operations, will drag the commercial banks under. And we know from experience that all of the banks are now interconnected by this, this web of the financial system. And there's a real concern that as one bank goes down, it could drag all of the other banks with it. People are very, very worried about this. So what are they going to do? Well, uh, in the bill, essentially what we're talking about is enacting a ban on proprietary trading for commercial banks. So those banks which do take individual deposits that, that you go up to and you put your money in every month, those banks would be forbidden or potentially could be forbidden from having these proprietary trading operations. If they were going to have to have them, they, they would have to spin them off. Okay, they would have to be, um, uh, in, uh, op they would have to operate independently. They couldn't operate within the bank. And the reason for this, of course, is then you don't have the issue of uh, this um, proprietary trading operation bringing down the commercial bank and dragging the rest of the system with it. 
Now, uh, if you were an investment bank, which doesn't take deposits from individuals and doesn't hold money in that way, you can still do uh, this kind of casino banking. This, uh, you can invest in whatever you want to invest in. But uh, there's talk that, um, and proposals that uh, those banks would have to hold more cash on their balance sheets. So that if they did run into problems, that if these internal hedge funds did have issues, then at least they've got a big bunch of money that, uh, that they can use to bail themselves out rather than going to the taxpayer. So those are the provisions that we're seeing in this bill at the moment. We're not really sure what, how it's going to shake out right now because there's a lot of talk going on between the House and the Senate and they've got two slightly different variations on this. But it does look as though some version of the Volcker rule is going to come through, and uh, which could leave because it's, it, could, it could actually erode bank uh, profits a little bit because they won't have these you know, very uh, lucrative operations running in the banks. It could leave them rather badly needing a drink.